so what I'm gonna do today really fast I'm gonna break down um, this four seconds intro we made yesterday so this was made using After Effects and Element 3D uh, by Video Copilot and let's get right into the um, breakdown okay so going into Element you see we have our um, three knives and we gave them pretty nice reflection on the metal mat uh, texture here using um, backlight backlight environments so we use one of those because it gave us pretty nice reflection of on the knife over here and in after effects um, we went and animated each and every one of the knives to slowly get up, um, levitate and swing right, right at the camera. It's pretty slow rendering so let's gonna change this to third. As you can see, the knives are on the ground. One thing we actually did um, using the camera, we switch on the depth of field, it was off. Without depth of field, it will look like this. And that's pretty fake and it looks really bad. I mean, yes, we are on third. Now we're gonna go on full and it still looks bad because there is no depth. I mean, it says depth of field, so <laughs> there is no depth in this image, so it looks fake. So we're gonna turn that on and we hand animated some zoom and focus in and out of here. Change this back to third. And this makes this a little bit blurry. And you can see we're getting a little bit of uh, focus on these knives right here. And now, what's really important that I have done this project, we've added this fire behind. Um, let's go further into the frames. As you can see, we've got this fire over here, but now that we have this, it gave a lot of action into the scene, but took away all of the realistic parts. So I had, I have created those two lights, lights um, six and seven, as you can see. Place the light number six on the right side of the video, so this gave a nice reflection on this knife over here and a bit of reflection on the wood area on there and on the sides and then I created light number 7 that's the underglow so this light comes down here from down here and glows um, pretty much the bottom part of the knife and now we got this cool looking um, reflection on, on the, the wood over here as you can see so make sure that whenever you're working in uh, 3d you get your lighting done because it's or use lights at all because some people forget about this and they just animate their scene and they render it out and it looks like plastic or it just looks bad and then we have those lights that are just um, background lights just for a bit of texture and glow and as you can see mixing all of them together it's just giving us a lot of detail on, on those knives so this part looks dead so we went and got some uh, lens flares as you can see just to fill up the scene a bit, make this look nicer. Then we pre-composited this scene and we added this bl this blue blue glow over here and more lens flares. So just put all of those together um, and you're gonna get something like this. I mean, I really like the way it looks and the way it feels. It's just as you can see the blue lights over here, the blue lights on the knives. Make sure you animate your light, make sure you just edit your light um, to make it look nice. 
So yeah, I mean, this was just a quick breakdown of this video because um, there's not much to it. The next side is just a transition to some text and that's just pretty basic. I'm not trying to do a tutorial, this is just a breakdown. So if you want me to do an in-depth tutorial on this video, like how to hand animate the knives, how to create lights, how to texture the, the knives and all, all the stuff you see in this video, make sure to leave a, leave a comment down below. Um, thank you for watching, yeah, make sure to give a like if you um, enjoyed this breakdown and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. See you next time.